Once you've found a level campsite, you're ready to unhitch the go from your vehicle. Start by pulling the pin to release the dolly jack and rotate the wheel down towards the ground. Disconnect the wiring harness from the vehicle and tuck it into the plug holder on the coupler. Unlock the safety cables from the vehicle and attach them to the same plug holder. Flip the crank handle and turn clockwise while using your foot to keep the wheel from spinning. Once the wheel has touched the ground, use one hand to lift up on the coupler handle, pulling the trigger underneath. Continue cranking clockwise until the coupler releases from the ball hitch. When you open the front storage pod lid, you will find everything you need to set up your go. There are two self-inflating mattresses. These are your secondary mattresses that you will use to set up the king and a half size bed. Your primary mattresses are found in the tent pod, stored above the bed table panels. You'll also find the poles for the tent body, two gray and one orange. There are also four bed support poles. The large black bag contains the GO awning and its one orange pole and four tent stakes. There are also two repair kits for your mattresses and four ratchet straps for use in transport mode, one of which is used to support the inside table. The bungee cord is also used in transport mode. The two long Velcro straps go with the two primary mattresses if you want to store them in another location. The four additional quick release pins are also used in transport mode. You'll also find the owner's manual and two stabilizer jack rods, one of which is stored in the front storage pod lid along with your crank handle. Finally, at the bottom of the front storage pod, there is a drain plug that can be used to drain water if you choose to use it as a cooler. We're now ready to lower the stabilizer jacks. There are four jacks, one located at each corner of the trailer. These are spring-loaded and set at a 45-degree angle. Starting with the two rear jacks, stand exactly at the corner of the trailer in order to release these properly. Reach under the trailer, grab the jack at its highest point just below the hinge, and push the jack away from you to release it and swing it down. Once the jack clicks into place, press down on the lever to release the foot and lower so it is just touching the ground. Once the two rear jacks have been lowered, walk to the front of the trailer and crank the dolly jack up, or clockwise, one or two turns to weight the rear jacks. Once the rear jacks have been weighted, lower the two jacks located at the front corners and retrieve the stabilizer jack rod from the storage box. Insert the rod into the highest exposed hole on the jack, ensuring that it goes all the way through and sticks out the back of the jack. Once the rod is properly inserted, push down just enough to weight the foot on the ground. The goal isn't to lift the trailer off the ground, but simply to put weight on the foot. Once your stabilizer jacks are in place, walk around the trailer pulling the four quick release pins from the rack. You can put these on the hook of the dolly jack to remind you to put them back in place after you break down. Remove the crank handle from the storage pod lid and insert all the way into the receiver on the driver's side just under the storage pod. Turn the crank handle clockwise to raise the tent pod. Continue cranking until you feel a firm stop and see a small knurled indicator on the lift system tube just above the crank handle. With the tent pod in the fully raised position, the next step is to set up the bed platforms. From the storage box, remove the bed panel support poles. These are identical, so it does not matter which end goes towards the trailer and which end goes towards the wing. Locate the four keyhole mounting brackets on the bottom side of each corner of the GO. Match the key on the end of the bed support pole to fit it into the slot of the mounting bracket. Give the pole a quarter twist to lock it into place. You will notice that the pole will bounce around a bit, but if you pull on it, it should not pull out. Next, you'll want to remove the Velcro straps from the front and back of the bed platforms. Wrap the straps around the tongue of the go to help remind you to reattach them when you break down. To put the bed platforms into place, grab from the middle and lift the platform towards you, then up and over the pins. Lower until it's horizontal and meets the top of the bed support poles. You will find a keyhole slot where the bed support pole meets the platform. Match the key at the end of the pole to the keyhole of the bed platform and insert the pole. Twist the pole a quarter turn to lock into place. Lower the rear step. Step onto the deck of the go 
and find the orange release cable that is located at the back center of the tent pod. Pull the orange cable to release the tent. Lower the bottom of the tent pod and push it forward until it is resting against the back of the storage pod. Carefully step down from the go and walk around to the crank handle. Lower the tent pod by turning the crank handle counterclockwise no more than one to two turns. This will secure the bottom of the tent pod, locking it into place, and become the back wall of the tent. You can now stow the crank handle back into the storage pod lip. Pull the tent body out onto the bed platforms. You will find two half moon panels on each side of the tent. On the corner of these half moon panels, there are small nylon loops. Those loop over the pins on the outside corners of the bed platforms. Remove the tent poles from the storage pod. The two gray poles are for the sides and the one orange pole is for the vestibule over the door. Assemble a gray pole and bind the pole sleeve on the side of the go. The opening is located right where the material turns from gray to black on the underside of the sleeve. Insert the pole into the sleeve as far as it will go. You will have to go to the other end and work the end of the pole out of the sleeve. Once the pole appears on the opposite end, insert the tip of the pole into the grommet at the base of the pole sleeve. Go to the opposite end and push the pole to pop the side of the tent up and insert the tip into the grommet, again making sure the sleeve is laying flat against the pole. Repeat this process on the other side. Once both sides of the tent are set up, find and assemble the orange tent pole for the vestibule. You will be able to see the sleeve along the front door. Slide the pole through the sleeve until you have approximately the same amount of pole sticking out of both sides. On the half moon panels, locate the orange nylon webbing strip running down the side center of them. At the bottom of the strip, you will find a loop. There is a one inch deep pocket behind this loop. You won't necessarily see it, but it is there. Insert the end of the pole into the pocket to secure it. Just above the pockets are pieces of Velcro. Crisscross the straps of Velcro over the pole for added security. Repeat on the opposite side. We're now ready to attach the body of the tent to the trailer. Start with the two clip straps located at the corners closest to the step. Wrap the strap around the rear marker lamp and attach the clip. Pull the strap tight and close the clip to secure it. Once the two back corners have been secured, the rest of the floor can be secured with hooks that attach to a ledge that runs all along the underside of the trailer, with the two corners behind the storage pod wrapping around the bed support pole. Once the floor of the tent is attached, the final step is to attach the inside corners of the bed platforms. There are four hooks and they naturally want to fall to the inside of the frame. You want to pull them up and around the outside of the frame, attaching the hook to the curved portion of the anchor point, not inside the hole. By pulling the hook to the outside of the frame, it is the tension that holds it in place. Repeat on all four corners. Once the tent is secured to the trailer, you can roll up the door and secure it with the hook and ring to keep it out of the way. Included with your go is the large rear awning. Find the large black stuff sack that contains the awning, pole, and tent stakes. Unfold the awning so that the logo is facing up and the zipper is towards the door of your go. Match the zipper on the awning to the zipper on the vestibule and zip all the way across. Assemble the orange awning pole and slide through the sleeve that is now exposed approximately in the center of the awning. Run it all the way through until you have the same amount of pole sticking out of both sides. Insert the end of the pole in the grommet found at the bottom of the nylon strap hanging from the pole sleeve. Attach the plastic clip to the pole just above the grommet and pull the strap tight. Stake both ends of the pole into the ground. Once the pole is secured, Find the two tips on the front of the awning and pull tight by walking away from the go and stake down. Ideally, the awning pole should run parallel to the vestibule pole so that the angle is approximately the same. You should have a nice wide opening where you can back your vehicle in if you choose.